Well, we, we, we were a relatively early adopter of uh, quite a lot of traffic control technology. So we put our first uh, big system in in 1989. Um, so it has continuously grown and developed o over the years. So we have a, a very, very extensive network of um, traffic control technologies, junctions. Uh, we have a couple of hundred CCTV cameras, VMS signs. Uh, real-time passenger information. So we, we've kind of grown with technology and grown the whole way. We we adopted it, if you like, back in the the late 1980s. So um, we're we're a, we're a, it's it's pretty mature in Dublin to have a lot of a lot of data and a lot of uh, traffic control management systems. Uh, but now you have a, a kind of technology that. Uh, Helps you predict and to and to make uh, some diagnosis yeah. of uh, traffic. Uh, yeah. So 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 what uh, what we've been doing really is is we generate a huge amount of data from from all our sensors. We've got five six thousand sensors throughout Dublin. Um, we generate a lot of information from that, and we weren't using it particularly smartly, I suppose. So uh, through through our agreements with with IBM Research, we've made that available to them. Uh, you know, so things like the bus information, you know, position of every bus in Dublin every 20 seconds is made available to them. A direct feed from our traffic control system is made available to them. And through that then we've been able to, to look at what, what if you like, has been the, the way of analysing uh, that sort of data, the way of visualising it. And that in turn is feeding into how we now look at how we specify systems, what we do with them and, and how, we, how we use them. So, uh, what changed in in a uh, Dublin panorama, let's call it like this, in terms of uh, roads, uh, is there any practical effect? Did you uh, conclude that, well, this road comes has two, two ways, it has only, it should have one way, for example? Or well, Did anything changed in the traffic? Well, if you like, we're, we're, we're constantly changing traffic, so I mean, we're just about to embark on a big project which is based around the idea of, of all the information we're using from the bus data, is now we're now going to look at that at a very practical level on all the roads and actually work out where we can actually improve things. So using the data, using the analytics, we can then apply in a concrete fashion, whether it's civil works, whether it's junction improvements, whatever, with the focus on making the transportation, the bus, public transport better. So yeah, it has had quite a practical impact.